I V M. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people, and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey, where you can fill out the survey. Uh, saving is the hardest thing I do as an adult. Saving money, that is, and saving food, saving lives, of course, all damn hard. But thank God for the Jupiter Digital Banking app, which has made saving money a little bit easier. Their Money Pots feature helps you save money more efficiently. You can create a pot and set aside money to reach your goals. And when you do meet them, this money can be withdrawn from pots anytime without any changes. So the pots is like a mini bank for you. If only saving lives was as easy as this. Yeah. Don't forget to check out Jupiter Money or you can download the Jupiter Money app on your Android or iOS phones to get started. And of course, I should say Jupiter full stop money. Jupiter Money. The language used on the podcast may not be fit for consumption. We warn you, tread carefully. But listen, yaar, don't be so conservative. Welcome to Cyrus Says, brought to you by Jupiter, a banking app that helps you master your money. I don't read those things out. I learn them, committed to memory and say it in a very spontaneous way. For me, that's the connection with the audience that we used to have. Now we have no one listening, but we still try. I have a million dollar question, by the way, folks. Now just think about this. Why isn't one bank employee enough to solve a problem? I mean, is it rocket science? You go there, you always explain your problem to the guy and then he says, Wait a minute, I'll transfer it to the other person who will take this ahead. And then uh, he goes, disappears, and then some other person comes and you go to him. Then that guy goes to lunch or there's a pause while they find the fourth person. They don't even talk amongst themselves. They just keep finding people and then just the ball gets get passed from left to right, right to left, left to center. And you're just waiting there for hours. I mean, why can't they have just one guy, one guy that solves all the problems, you know? One simple, one one step process to solve all my banking issues. You know, that's all I ask. But worry not, folks. I've thought about this all night, all weekend, actually. Jupiter Money is here to make this problem go away with their in-app chat support, which can connect you to a human in seconds if needed. And that human answers all your queries in one shot. And that's how easy it should be, in seconds. So, Jupiter, it is. Cyrus Brocher, over and out. What is the workplace and how does your gender and body affect your right at work? Hey, I'm Priya Mirza and on the Longest Constitution podcast, we critically examine the vision of the Indian constitution and laws. In season one, we looked at sex, gender, sexuality in India and the landmark judgments which transformed our rights as citizens in this country. In season two, we discussed the laws which shape the workplace and examine how ability, competence and merit impact us and much more. Join me Priya Mirza every Wednesday only on the IVM podcast app, website and all the major podcast okay, streaming let's start platforms. The show. Got some interesting people on the show today. Uh, say this every time because they're listening. And if you call them what what you really think, I mean, that's embarrassing. I never did that. We have people on have... the show today. Yeah. Hey, now firstly, there's a big political issue. Are you the anchor? Or is he the anchor? People no, are asking. I've given up my reins. I don't know. I'm, I'm surrendering. Uh, Naveen was very kind enough to take my position while I was gone. But now he's back. I think Cyrus is also... Uh, You're not kind enough. He okay. charged properly, Baba. We were in a desperate situation. Yeah, yeah. We were a young host no, I, and all that. I gave that friend a discount. Yeah. 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 Uh, thank, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> but, uh, but this is a good point to just, you know, because our show is therapeutic and we like to be honest and open and it's all about being fair and frank. So uh, if either of you prefer to keep the job or if it's the other way around and neither wants the job, this is a good time to bring it up. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, Naveen, no, no. Take it back. And then we'll keep passing it around between Naveen, yeah, me and Naveen. I just realized as I said it, it's not like, you know, Jeff, <laughs> Of Goldman Sachs or something. It's just a <laughs> stupid podcast that you have to anchor with an idiot. And sometimes nice people like Nevadi. You have yeah. like it's Bagban, but with a podcast. Like you have uh, yeah. Cyrus for one week, then I'll have Cyrus for one week, then somebody yeah. else has Cyrus for one week, just pass him around. Like, God, you're like my separated know. parents. Oh, <laughs> exactly, I got the yeah. kid this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a Bagban reference. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Got it, Mr. My God, so touchy, huh? But I haven't seen Bagban, so I had to put it together, haven't I? What do you think? I don't yeah, watch yeah. Hindi films for a living. No, Only like, watch the films on the South, Nevedita. Because they make more money in Hindi dubs than these stupid yeah. Bollywood films ever will. It's a huge, I only watch huge 99 joke. on loop, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, 99 <laughs> is a cheap film. I'm just saying that now, after RR's success in this latest one today, I've been told that this one, uh, what is it? KRC? Uh, KGF. K- KGF. K- KGF too, yeah. yeah. I was nearly there. KGF is going KGB, to cost 200 yeah. crores in dubbing alone. I mean, I mean, wow. forget what a thousand crores they're looking at. I mean, is it possible wow. these figures? How can you wipe of out course. the Bollywood market? Look at the wipe- population. Yeah, but <laughs> so I, like I'm only new. a few of us have to watch these movies for them to make that much money. <laughs> that's also true. Yeah. That's true. And, and a lot of people watch it twice. So it's actually the same people. Yeah. That's cheating, isn't it? The same people watching it twice and thrice and you still say 600 crore people watch the film. It's actually 100 crore. I mean, crore. they made the money watch on those expect. people's backs. So I don't think they care after a while. Like they, yeah, they made their care. money. Their watch yeah. time is done. They calculate all of these things. I used to work at Book My Show. So it's like a major thing for them to like, you know, pump up a movie that's coming up. Like as a review, mm. you can't even write bad reviews if a movie is like, you know, like a Raja Moli movie is coming up. You can't even like mess around with the reviews and all. You have to Why give them three you? and a half stars. Because Why like you? you're you're a portal that's helping ticket the same sales, Ooh. right? So as a critic, like you, oh, you can't be Rajiv Masan and be like, "This is what I don't like about the yeah. movie." You have to be like, yeah. I also have a theory that India is less fun as a culture, so that the movies can make more money. Like we don't have anything else to do, especially in the that's south. A like at least you guys. Theory. In Gujarat, yeah. have like garba and everything, where you go out and like party for like nine days or something. In the south, there's nothing. Even what at weddings, talking? we're not allowed to uh, dance. What's wrong with you in Chennai? You've got those drag races on the beaches and stuff, man. Well, Who are those fun. for? It's not for the public. It's like for okay, very niche people group go and of watch people. Them. No, but I'm saying like the masses don't have anything to have fun with. Like what you're not allowed to go out and like have a nice time. Fun That's is also actually a very taboo. specific region. Like bullfighting also yeah. happens in a way it's small. Yeah, and it's a very is big, it's yeah. very niche. All of these things are niche things that happen yeah. that not everybody can. You can never in. go back to Tamil Nadu in your life now. If you <laughs> just I call them the outcast, actually. <laughs> yeah, because what you just said is I prefer Gujarat culturally, which is now a scary no, no, thing no. to say. I'm saying yeah. that Gujaratis have a way to like socialize Celebrate as young stuff. people. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, in Kenya, Garba was the biggest thing. They give the kids sticks because of the security issue, especially for young girls walking in everyone <laughs> in the night. Yeah. That's where it all started. It's nothing to do with culture. It's purely security. Wait, but, one uh, second. Like, Are you saying Gujarat is unsafe? Uh, no, not in this climate. <laughs> I'll get back to you later. Boris Johnson's going to be there in a few days, maybe three or four days from, from the time of this recording. Yeah. Or oh, this is live, yeah. So how can it be unsafe if Boris Johnson is going to go there? And this is a guy who went to Kiev to hang out for two days. Nobody ah. knows why he was in Ukraine in the middle of a war. Now he comes to India. One bad experience after another is what he's looking for, it looks like. He's looking All for right. the worst haircut after his. Like, what qualifies... In terms of like the the topi haircut that he had is the worst, like you know. So and I don't know if you've seen other people from the God, parliament. Honestly, <laughs> they have the worst haircuts. Yeah. like you know, you boy do, bands yeah. from the eighties. The UK MPs, actually not all the eighties, the nineties. You do realize that disheveled look is like a hard worked look. He probably has really nice hair and is very neat actually, but it could take about forty five minutes every day to look like he's been hit by a lawnmower and then come out in the public. No, he realizes also, once people start making fun of Trump for his hair, he can get away with anything. Yeah. So they can basically say whatever <laughs> he wants. Yeah. Also, they've been making fun the, of the British for their teeth all this while. It's your hair that should be the problem. But yes, there's a reverse psychology involved in all this. I don't know if you're thinking about it. Boris Johnson uh, is born with a silver spoon, comes from the elite, etc., etc. But also tries to dumb down himself. He rides a bicycle. He's in the pub with the lads. He's watching game of footy. He's trying to make himself a very middle of the line sort of you know guy. But he's not really that. It's what I love about politicians. They're actors. They're the best actors. This is an acting job. The whole thing is an acting job. From the hair when he leaves the house, you know, what he says in parliament. And now, of course, he'll be surrounded by Indian actors, state actors, yeah, so, if you like, <laughs> soon. There was a BBC morning interview with Dan Stevens, who's an actor. And he's, he's like in a new movie that's coming out on HBO. It's about the Watergate scandal with Julia Roberts. So he was there to promote mm-hmm. the movie. And the anchors are like, you know, you're, you're starring in this movie. It's coming out. Like, it's a series, actually. And tell us more about it. So he's like, yeah, it's about a corrupt man who should not be in poli- uh, no, in the office, in the parliament, the worst kind of person. Oh, wait, that's the introduction for Boris, Boris Johnson. Take it again. <laughs> so he just like, in live <laughs> live BBC air, he, he calls out the PM. How mean. Wow. And how ballsy. Yes. Like, just like on BBC to do this on live air, it's amazing. Because, feel like. because it's a free end. But BBC allows. Allow- all this, no, he won't. Yeah. He knows he won't get in trouble. Yeah, because yeah. hosts themselves were like, "Oh shit, did he just say that?" And now, what about our jobs? You know, wow. so Doodarshan also bad. allows it, but nobody watches Doodarshan anymore. <laughs> yeah, people just come and rant on Doodarshan. See, 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 feral mind uh, backing me up. 
He's an Eton and Oxford alumni, but he plays the buffoon and lost for words and stuttering and stammering. It's all a bloody yeah. act. I yeah, just yeah. can't believe people can't see through these acts. It's so obvious sometimes. I'll dumb down to be one of the masses. God. <laughs> I mean, I have to do that coming from Malabar Hill when I visit you guys. But, you know, I mean, you can see through it most of the no, time. No, but, but, but what is political discourse in this climate <laughs> at, anyways? Like, no, you know, Boris no, Johnson no, could be like from Oxford or whatever, but nobody gives a shit in terms of the correct. Twitter discourse. Like, it okay. all boils we, down we'll to like... like one second, yeah. second, you missed the moment where she rolled her eyes. Uh, I just wanted, <laughs> oh, shit, I was I at a moment the then. You just didn't let her enjoy it. So anyway, moving moment. on. Chetan Bhagat is from the IIMs. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him and the people he's loved. <laughs> is it okay if I drink my milk while we chat since you all have things in your hand? Yeah, you can call it milk, but we all know it's alcohol. I mean, go actually, ahead. Ah, yeah. How can you tell? Yeah. Is it from my <laughs> The beard? last yeah. generation of humans that aren't lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <that is> <laughs> I just watched 10 minutes of uh, Gold Media, a Ritik Roshan film. I don't know if you have ever seen it. Oh, of course, yeah. I've seen it. Love oh, that movie. I, I can't it's tell. What he's, which one? Which one? Uh, yeah, I can't yeah, tell yeah. what he's playing. What is he playing? Because he sounded like a like he's mentally off balance. He's playing or... a person who really likes Bonvita, as far as I remember. He that plays also... developmentally challenged. Yeah, that's the right word. I, I didn't want to say the wrong word. Thanks for saying. I don't remember so he, anything about the movie except the dance. No, no. In Koi Mil Gaya, they just back. use they just say pagal. <laughs> Chella. Okay, his mind is not right. It's a little bit pagal. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. there were a couple of pagal references. But she falls yeah. down. No, yeah. like that's, when she's pregnant with him, she has a fall or something. Yeah, so he gets a brain damage. Let me just explain to Nivedita. But she's from the south, and per se, they don't understand science fiction when it comes from Bollywood. Let me explain to you. The green fellow with the red cape or whatever, that's the extraterrestrial. The guy in the glasses. That's Rithik Roshan. <laughs> They're two different people. I, I would have switched them both okay. yeah. immediately after seeing I mean, them. My favorite thing the about Koi Milia. Thank you for Milia. clarifying. Milia. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing about the movie is that the, the aliens' uh, language oh. is as advanced as Rakesh Roshan's yeah. music. <laughs> it's just like the same level of like... Uh, 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 Stop uh, it. And like, yeah, I thought you're uh, the guy. This would be the aliens' advancement. the too. movies. You've been bitchy and brutal. Uh, uh. I mean, it's, it's true though. <laughs> All right, mm. enough enough uh, yes. shop talk. It's time to get to the nitty gritties. We have our anchor back, a professional. Oh, by the Hello, way, sir. before we get back, you haven't told us about Himachal. Oh, it yes. was yeah. uh, so Mumbai's great time. Game. Okay, talking I, about I, like Koi Milge was shot in Himachal, by the way. Oh, great time. Was, really? was it? That song. Okay, uh, uh, there's a question. Silvery, answer yeah. the question. Please read it. Grim Fandango. Uh, I, uh, Grim Fandango says that I have a suspicion that Silvery t- has tied the knot in Himachal. Uh, no, no, mm. unfortunately not. It's also not allowed, no, Naveen? <laughs> Boys can't marry no, yet amongst themselves. Goats, yeah. They can't marry goats yeah. yet in Himachal. Like, yeah, <laughs> correct. Also, <laughs> if you're, uh, you can't marry if you're not 18 yet. And so I cannot be married yet, unfortunately. Okay, okay. this is the standard of humor okay. that we're going to portray, then Boris Johnson was a highlight. Okay, after that, we're just going down. right. We missed what he was trying to say. Uh, how do you feel about Ranbir Kapoor getting married? And oh yeah, uh, my wife and I are very happy uh, <laughs> since the wedding. Uh, Alia, no, Alia, no, go Your out. wife is Alia. Me. <laughs> Alia, do you know why you did, Can you explain uh, why you did only four feras instead of the traditional seven? That was the big uh, rumor. I mean, uh, since you were there and you were, were walking around the. Uh, yeah, so what we do, right, uh, is we had you three get lost. lessons. You lose your because, GPS. Uh, what was the reason? The, the Pandit was lazy. The Pandit only said, Ke, hey, you know what? The new oh. norm is four feras. The cool people are doing four. The only Pandit and who would do this from is Sri Kumar Vijaykar. From next year, it's yeah. going to change even further. It's going to be only two feras and then you're sorted for the rest of your life. And if you want to do more, you can do more eventually more in life. But next year onwards, it's going to be two. And soon there will be a Zoom uh, Fera as well. You don't have to actually go yeah. there. You sort of do it there. I think instead of Fera, you should do that thing with Rishi Kapoor danced on in the song. You know, Mary you marke, not the thing <laughs> no, goes and he yeah. dances. That, and he walks forward and the thing, thing goes yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. like in Hamlet. Yeah. Yeah. That should be the Fera thing. Monty. That should be the Fera yeah. yeah. thing. Like yeah, yeah, you find in the middle and, and you just like stand the place and you just do the failures okay. automatically. For Ranbir yeah, yeah. and Alia wedding. Guys, we've got another question leading on. Uh, Nivedita yeah, is yawning. She's married. bored out of her mind. How was Saukar's no. wedding? Can I just explain the wedding? Saukar's wedding? Yeah, go for it. It's lovely. Yeah. Very beautiful. His mom was mm. really gracious. But uh, Saukar is like a giraffe and the mm. Bharat and I was all excited because I like the horse thing being an animal guy. So I'm all waiting for the horse, right? And they made us wear those tight pug things which, you know, they don't fit. I mean, they're just they're sweating like an animal in the heat wearing all that stuff waiting for the horse the horse was a BMW and with a sunroof and the giraffe came out and the giraffe looks at me and says "Ah!" I was like I don't I want the horse there was no horse I was very upset I wanted to redo the wedding and by the way these Punjabis are crazy man Naveen they moved 6 feet in 40 minutes in the car we we were dancing after 5 minutes of dancing I was dying 
It was still going on, you know, but we weren't moving. Nobody was moving. So finally, I sat in the BMW in the back seat because Santosh, <laughs> who has served him for 20 years, uh, was yeah. they dressed him up like he was in a Catholic wedding. He had a waistcoat and a tie and all this and everything. And this guy was dressed like, you know, standing for elections in Punjab tomorrow evening. Yeah. Oh, God, That's it was the BMW, yeah. But this happens, huh, by the way. The yeah. BMW thing, uh, it does happen nowadays. The people, I, I was at a cousin's wedding. When did it replace and the And her garage? fiance, so you her fiance replaced, the, the, replaced the horse with a super bike. So he's like a fan of super bikes. And he came with the super yeah. bikes with two of his friends escorting him. It was actually so kind of a movie. Like right? his mom then. <laughs> Just like. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> so unnecessary. No, I is think this, like a lot of people, it, my it friends who have gotten married in recent times have been like horses ko, bichare ko, dup me kada karte, usko no maarte, haan, usko yeh ne, paani dete. Yeah. So they have like all these reasons also, which I understand. Like the horses are passing and also because horses shit everywhere. I don't know if you know this. That That's the, true. And the whole old school thing about horses was like, it was from one but village to the other village where the, 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 the horse's is going to. ass is in the back and the whole party is in front. If you're the back, then you're a moron because I don't know what you're doing in the back. Everybody's but in that's front. That's where but I end up. That's where the Nagin guy dance guy ends up because sorry. he's dancing on my the floor. Fault, he's still there. Bharat has moved on. Won't the horse feel bad? He's been preparing all year. The horse also has been preparing all year for this. Getting ready. Getting yeah, his hair brushed. That's only gig Antariksh. He only gets one wedding per year. That's exactly. You don't know. What do we get to do? Yeah. And that also gets cancelled. The soccer is not to ride a car, ride a bike, ride a cycle, or ride a horse. You know, so yeah. the sunroof was the only option. I but you think yeah. about it because he can pop out of a sunroof like a puppet, yeah. and he did that beautifully. But yeah. Machines are taking that. the horses' jobs, though. It's not. Uh, I know. I, I didn't like fun. that. What's, what yeah. is the tradition <laughs> in that, bro? The whole thing was you bring foreigners and say, and then they see this. What's the big deal? They got to see the horse or chalo, camel, or you know maybe a penguin in certain conditions. But it doesn't make sense. Ostrich. Imagine uh, riding into an uh, Very aggressive. ostrich. Very aggressive animal. That's Difficult true. to ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be easier with the wife than with the ostrich. That okay. Uh, yeah. that actually, this riding animals leads us into well into our topic. Uh, if you, you see my gift, uh, Silvery, you see yeah. my gift. I gave you that gift. <laughs> it's a gift. But gift. That yeah. too. Oh. So, but this is a slightly uh, sad story, of course. Mm. Basically, a, a dolphin was stranded on a beach on a beach in Texas, and uh, so the the animal authorities were informed they were on their way. But in the meantime. Beach goers started pushing the already uh, sick dolphin. It was a little sick. The dolphin they started pushing it back into the water. Beach in Texas. And while, yeah, this is in Texas. Where's, where's my beach in Texas. Are there beaches uh, in Texas? This this I guess. Line, no? Yeah, there are coastline. No? Okay. We'll, we'll get but anyway, so that. then the beach goers started pushing the dolphin back. And while the dolphin was being pushed back, they started trying to ride it and take photos with it. And like play with the dolphin, which ended up killing the dolphin, which was already, uh, was already like you know, like not in like a good place. The, the dolphin was, and uh, they yeah, end up, of, yeah, yeah. It'll it'll die anyway. Once it's beached, uh, once it's beached, it'll die. You can't breathe after some time. But no, no, yeah. but you can, you can take it back, right? Uh, no, yeah, dolphin, in time, but with, uh, after some time, it won't be able to survive. It's not built for land anymore. Although it's really built for land. Yeah. Sorry. So it was, it, it was say, alive for a, know, for a good while. The, dolphin. The, the authorities are, so basically there are pictures that have come forward of people trying to ride it and people, uh, uh, photographs it's that they've been with the dolphin. And cruel, and, but I don't know if that connects to, uh, I'm just, as, as a lawyer. So that's what, defense. that's what the authorities are saying. The, do, the dolphin was already sick and all this uh, kind of stressed it even further, stressed it out even further, all uh, this activity way. with so much humans yeah and that's what ended up killing it and uh, apparently in the us it is a federal crime to be cruelty towards uh, dolphins and Dolphin. whales is but like a mexicans. federal crime yeah, yeah but not mexicans uh, so were they only one kind so of wetback the people event. might get arrested but it's also possible they let it be this time because that law isn't as widely See, i can only think of animal They're cruelty like, and for the gram, the laws it's okay are, yeah. animal cruelty laws are weak most parts of the world as in the uh, the punishment doesn't fit the crime generally Mm. So what really what about Especially if it's animals. And, and then how do you, yeah, how are you going to prove? I mean, if we can think that this is a gray area, then it's going to be difficult to prove the 100% correlation between the animal dying because you were messing around. When he, he was going to die anyway, once he's yeah. beached, if he's not quickly put back in. But very bad, but, bad on you, Texas. The, but do but were these adults or children? Because if these were adults, then they should they look have like adults. some kind of... Uh, in the photos, uh, they all seem like adults, but young adults, you know, like... Uh, in their twenties, uh, short, late short teens, early twenties. Yeah, adults didn't grow. They were short up. people. Yeah. Uh, adults like in koi mil gaya? Is that that? <laughs> no, like yeah. like bare chested, uh, developmentally challenged, uh, ocean going That's people. That's most you know, adults. Like going people. No, but guys, even more closer to home in Maharashtra, did you hear about the monitor lizard thing? Like four dudes oh, no. were arrested for uh, molesting a lizard. What? Molesting. Like the lizard molesting was found molested by four men. Yeah, sexually so molested. Bullshitting, right? Like, sexually molested. They. What? Ruben like Davis on term, it? raped a lizard, yeah. So it's oh, in Maharashtra. It's all, it's not all over the news. People were like talking about this over the weekend as well. Is uh, this is, this is, the is it poisonous? They're quite powerful. I mean, I don't know what. No, no. Mortalizers are not poisonous. 
Or like you're talking about the Komodo dragon. Komodo. That's the most. Komodo is the youngest brother. Yeah, that's. Yeah. But that's smaller, 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 have sexual relations with a lizard i mean said that i did with some really terrible looking people but you know i mean this all goes there yeah <laughs> i mean that's like does like the 50s like you know a, a old ass joke is like he ah, i had sex with a lizard oh wait that's my wife you know why it's my wife you see <laughs> and this accent is from khar <laughs> i feel it's like old time is this a real is this an actual uh, so it's kind of an italian, italian accent but they have examples like, like that multiple no, like, yeah, yeah, that. Was, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. indian chinese accent you know was here there and everyone yeah. i was enjoying it for a bit I just couldn't place it, and then it distracts me from the joke because I have a petty mind. I'm like horrible accent. Where's it from? So I can't think of the joke. This is always there was no joke. It was just me doing people. the accent and saying. Like, <laughs> I know, I know, like, I know. Yeah. But now, now no, I can't but remember. But that joke kind of sounded like yeah. uh, something Rodney Dangerfield would do. You know, hey, yeah. I get no yeah. respect. Uh, I had sex with the lizard yeah. the other night and realized, hey, it was my wife. <laughs> yeah, no, I got no respect. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. yeah, that's closer. I'll give him six. Yeah. Uh, like, okay. wow, sitting there you your Rodney. Accents. Either your Rodney or your monitor lizard accent. These are the two options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the two. All right. So the next story is oh, about. Oh, Vinay has mentioned our accent specialist is back. They missed you. But they missed you a lot. Scottish boy accent. accent. <laughs> I love Scottish boy. Uh, Naveen, tell me every day they mentioned you. Every day they mentioned you. Yeah, every day oh, so we so missed you so much. Yeah, yeah. We cried in your memory. We laughed in your memory, and then we must. Everybody is just nodding my head because. Although they did say Naveen, please continue with the show and all that, but 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 they did miss you. Yeah. The fans were like, yeah. "We love yeah. Antrik, but uh, thanks yeah. for being here." Retain him. Yes, I get it. Special yeah. status. It's all good. Hmm, let's not go there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <Okay>. Next story. <laughs> all right. Uh, next story is about this woman has figured out or made herself the coolest job possible, like the coolest, easiest job possible ever. Okay. And uh, she is she based on New York. She is a professional baby namer. Okay. Uh, for each time that she uh, suggests some names. Okay. She suggests names to parents. Uh, uh, her minimum charges are fifteen hundred dollars, which comes about one point something lakhs. One second, one second. Let me understand. Per name suggestion. So per per group of name suggestion. So like parents hire her services. So it's like a one-hour thing. We'll have a chat for whatever. one hour, and I'll give you names. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What whatever, whatever the session includes is fifteen hundred rupees. But that's one uh, option for it. There's also a ten. Could she mix it up? Rupees. Could she have, have give it like you know like bloody fool, monitor lizard. Scottish yeah. accent. You Anything. Know, suddenly, suddenly like, so she she you can know, do a half ass job, and how would they know? Well, I'm thinking, <laughs> like, you know, but the, using a relative theory, you'll just accept the one good name. That's a technique a lot of people use. That's you actually true. Yeah. Give three bad names, give one good one. Yeah, yeah. How do you think? Yeah, but her talent really is more born. than that. People <laughs> believe that she's got like this gift where she can, uh, you know, read the soul so, of the person and like you know tell them what their future yeah, will yeah. be like. I vibes. know the future. The future of this is not so, going to be fun. Like imagine when these kids grow up, they don't like their name, and somebody was paid. To name them, they're gonna sue. This is America. It's definitely hey, gonna happen. Yeah. How will it work? For, let me read the. It won't work. Work with Indians, cause our mommies oh, and course. chachis and all choose the name through a book, and then exactly. they go. Yeah. The, it has to start with right. G, and she's not giving us anything with G. You're fired. Yeah. Yeah. Naming is like this abduction. Will it will never. This will never <laughs> make money in India. This is a definitely. Only next letter, India. ma'am. Next yeah. letter. They're like mercy. Peda karo mercy. Oh, chin my slap on the face. If you pay her less, hey, less, she less, less, like less, less, less. Yeah, well, I we didn't hire our services, unfortunately, mom. But I guess <laughs> so. Antrik, do you have any uh, examples of names she's given that not, people pay? His name for? is Run Beer. Uh, Run Beer. Oh, I, I don't have examples for names, but I do know that she has one more service, which is for ten thousand USD, which comes to about seven point something lakh. Hey, one second. Where before you get the money? No, no. Let's clarify. No, no. So but is no, no, she naming but, but you a name? No, no but this is important. You this ten thousand rupees child. Is it a special name? They're two different things. Before we get into the money, is oh, it like a, like like Alex or George? But that name suits the child, or is it like a special name? Like uh, no, no, Rob? she 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 knows the meaning. So basically, how it started was this woman used to be really obsessed with baby names. She would like find out the history of baby names, of what that name means, and what's uh, the significance of that name, and whether it would suit this family if that name is included with. The last name, etc. Et she's et matching et existing. So they design a yeah. name. So she's basically designing. Yeah, she's what designing name these names for yeah. families. No, so I'm, she, I'm guessing these are very rich them. families. She has a more service. <laughs> yeah. Where things like she will just a name. 
people rich yes, and stupid. Just just the name. You can't just be rich. Huh? Yeah, I, I refuse to believe that Beyonce did not pay somebody to name a child Blue Ivy. <laughs> Blue Ivy, yeah. I'm pretty sure like, that's, like, oh, yeah, that's a soul, that's a flower. None power. of these rich people are hiring anyone. Yeah, like, she can't no, no, what, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what standard are you putting out there as a parent for your child as they grow up? Because you've not even bothered to name the child yourself. Like I'm not really going to yeah. take them to school or play soccer or you know clean up the mess or teach them Spanish or whatever the things they have to do. I'm like I couldn't even name the child. I mean that, that's yeah, like, the that's person I want to hire school. is who will person who will name my child and then also tell me the name of the child's caretaker and the child's nanny and the child's yeah. thing. Yeah. You know everything yeah, around sexual my child. Yeah. Yeah, child sexual. Even this whole gender reveal yeah. thing is a big business in America. Like it's all like a whole yeah, yeah, multiple big. range of yeah. videos and also by the way, range of videos that have gone oh, wrong. What do you mean? Cause of fire, forest fires, by the way. They, it, yeah, they yeah. have caused multiple forest fires because of yeah. uh, what? So this gender reveal. This slow down. Are you guys on drugs? I don't understand what you're saying. Let me let <laughs> me say so. so one second, one second. Yeah. Let me do this. Uh, so, yeah. so when like they have babies, like they have to reveal the gender, right? The gynec will tell the person. Right. Only the mom and dad have given an envelope. They're not given the gender, and then somebody from that management gets the envelope, and then they, they based on the baby's gender, either put blue or pink in a box, and then they explode them. So now, how they explode them is different kinds of methods that these Americans have gone yeah. crazy with. Like it's either like you know, if the father is a military person, then it's a grenade that goes up, and then it's a big grenade that blows pink color. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was yeah. just balloons like, popping. Yeah, yeah, it goes from oh, pinata no, no. to like an explosion. Like, So blue and pink are the colors. colors actually happen now yeah. how they oh reveal the colors gosh. differs in various ways now sometimes what has happened is that these crackers firecrackers that they burst in the gender reveal ceremonies have caused started the forest fires like in la the forest fires that have happened were they were reported to be caused due to uh, these gender reveal ceremonies yeah that's the thing yeah wow Oh, that yeah, happens like, a lot. Yeah. I've seen news, uh, but I I didn't know they explode things like they use. Yeah, it's America, dude. Like they just want yeah, to yeah. blow shit up I, all the time. Honestly, they enjoy that. The thing in, about America is they don't America. want to make money out of everything. You've not heard That's of what? Diwali? What the hell's going on with you guys? Come on. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, we don't have forest fires. But I mean, uh, but we yeah, still we have forest. We don't have forest. forest. Like, forest. Like, Naveen, Naveen, yeah. Naveen and his friends burning things up in the car area. But but I've got a question from Kumar Sanu. Obviously, the original Kumar Sanu. What's the story behind your kids' names? Yeah. So, Kumar, I'll just answer that quickly. Uh, Mikhail, I, we both want to because we come from mixed backgrounds, and all we want to give a want to give like a universal sounding name. And I want to name after Mikhail Gorbachev, who I thought was the greatest man of the post war uh, out of all the statesmen available, stop the Cold War, etc., etc. And he also had a little thing on his forehead. And Maya, we fought. I first want to name both the kids Cyrus, uh, regardless <laughs> of gender. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, I just thought it was natural. Who, who, normal, but... Cyrus the first, Cyrus the like the, the second and third. Like no, that? they can figure that out later because we are always bad with numbers. You know, who cares really? <laughs> uh, and then the old lady who lives with me, uh, not my mom, the other old lady. She said no. So anyway, so we came to Maya because Maya, by the way, is a name you find in all cultures as well. Of course, Maya illusion, blah blah blah, and all in Sanskrit and yeah. various Indian languages. But it's also there in Arabic, in Spanish, etc. And you know, it's everywhere. So of course, in some places it's a male name, but hey, like Naveen tells you, you don't get into that space, man. Everybody's game for everything. So that's the story of why we named our kids. But the original names were Cyrus and kids? then uh, Bunty and then uh, Cuckoo. There were I had so many nice names out there, but she just my wife's a fascist, man. I got to tell you, she just won't tolerate anything. So we had to go with her vision. But why are you looking at me? What about a guy called Silvery? I mean, his name is Silvery. What about that? Nobody's asking. No, that no, way. Silvery is what you kept my name as. My I name didn't. Name is. I did. The story Who comes from your Silvery? family. Was it here on this podcast? Was there uh, like yeah, a, he is named, there like it, a footage? No, 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 no. Live that footage song. of somebody. Oh, no, that. It, 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 We are making look. What happened is in his family there was in Punjabis. If you know them, they all have pet names. Okay, if you grow up with any of them, yeah, they have ridiculously silly yeah. pet names which sometimes don't suit the adult male at all. But forget that. So his uh, brother's uh, pet name is Goldie. Okay, and the yeah. option for him was Silvery and what is the thing they call you? Richie. Yeah. Richie. Richie. Which is actually Richie. my pet name is Richie. Richie, which is which is too boring what? and straightforward and normal sounding pet name. How yeah. They let go which is flows Richie right? Goldie Richie flows. Goldie Silvery uh, apparently doesn't flow as much. So if you yeah. have Silvery, you're Richie. Silvery. Rich. <laughs> any any <laughs> or Goldie, I have Goldie. On, on an Olympic podium will be like, hey, Goldie, Silvery, Bronzy. I mean, that makes sense to me. Goldie yeah. is a masala wow. company. Why do you want to be Goldie masala? Okay, let's just take But a vote. Goldie, now. so many things, man. Goldie is a Goldie Horn was an actress. Goldie Gold okay. was a cartoon. Who wants, who, who uh, wants uh, Goldie? <laughs> who wants? Uh, sorry, who wants Silvery? Who wants Richie? Let's see, Richie in favor of Richie. I mean, I mean, I will say no. Richie, yes, but no. I'm sure everyone will disagree now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Silvery has become a popular. Silvery is kind of. <laughs> I'm mean, called Richard. Who are people deserving of Richie than you? I'm sorry. Yeah. 
It's yeah. it's I couldn't believe how well it fit him honestly. I heard it for the first time when I came here and I was like, wow, that actually sounds like his name. <laughs> yeah. It fits. <laughs> This is a name that Because that designer woman would have found for you, you know. Yeah. That lady you would know, have been like really this works. baby looks if like a his mom and dad. If his mom and dad start calling him Silvery because of this podcast, I'll be so happy. It's just it's But just they, they aware you. of this. No, no. They are aware and they love that uh, that's like something that has come about that I'm called Silvery on because the show. Because maybe one of them was pushing relatives. for Silvery, huh? Yeah. Maybe one of them was pushing for Silvery is a latent desire and it felt really bad that <laughs> yeah. Silvery ko dabao kiya yeah, yeah, yeah. kisi ne and now like, you know Dekho dekho yeah. kya popular hai zara dekho karma. bola tha maine. The power of names. Totally you guys believe in the power of names because obviously this girl lady whatever applying her trade the whole idea is that you get a name it's Oh I didn't tell you one one aspect Yeah, I didn't tell you one aspect of her business. It was that the there's money. a ten thousand rupee service, ten thousand dollar service where uh, she will name the baby uh, uh, based on the parents' business. So, if Anj- Anjali business is or something, you know, if you if you Anjali alcohol, if you sell, if you sell drugs, <laughs> if you sell uh, pharmaceuticals yeah. or alcohol, you know, Chinese Whiskey. Mary Jane, Whiskey Alka, is a good name. Alka? No, it can be like half the name, no, Alka, Alka, Pharma, Setical. Alka, if you say, yeah, girl's yeah, name is Setical, a pharmaceutical, yeah, chacha, yeah. <laughs> yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, if they're uh, twins, then alcohol and uh, yeah. one is alcohol, one is hall, and alcohol is hall for a girl. Yeah, wow, silvery. You really are twins. One male, one female twin also can be. You know? <laughs> hey, alcohol, yeah. come here. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> isn't isn't Cardi B? Hey, I love uh, it. It used to be Bacardi, but then she changed it to Cardi B because oh, she couldn't have her true? username as Bacardi. Yeah, yeah, it no, is true. No, her that's sister's not. name that's is ridiculous. Hennessy. It's true. Are you serious? I'm not joking. What is wrong with parents? Her name is Cardinal Bacardi. <laughs> <laughs> I oh mean, I don't think they're her real, the, the 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 real names, but those are the names they stuck with in the end. Cardi B and wow. Hennessy. That's like a real a Bhuda in Bombay naming the kids. You know, like old monk and I mean, I actually would make sense. <laughs> I mean, really I always believe that Johnny Walker was an actor called Johnny Walker. All right, Hitler, he was an alcoholic, and that's the brand he drank the most. That's why he Ooh, called he Johnny Walker. Oh, he didn't drink Walker. at all. Oh, isn't true that he, he gave up no, drinking. No, people drink met. He would oh, go to bars and entertain people, people, and he was an alcoholic. Yeah. Who said he was not drinking? Yeah. By yeah. the way, there are a lot of Americans that name their kids India, yeah. and there are no Indians yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that name their kids no, India. Name isn't John, that John, absurd? Even yeah. in Asia, also. John T. Yeah. Rose called no, his daughter nothing. Bombay. Yeah, we don't we yeah. don't name our children after cities. We should. Yeah, like Sydney Chicago. is used. Sydney is quite. Like, popular. There is. There is a village something... somewhere in India where there are people Pr- names like Hitler. Name no, there are people named Hitler and uh, Adolf and uh, all these crazy, crazy names. There's a village in India yeah. that exclusively names their kids this. We had covered it on the show. I'm forgetting where the village is right now. Yeah. And they are uh, communists. That's the funny part. Yeah, you know, actually, my second name is a district in Andhra Pradesh. So everybody thinks I'm Telugu because of yes. that. Prakasham district. There's a Prakasham oh. district in Andhra Pradesh, and uh, but there might so be a Prakasham everywhere. Like I mean, yeah, Prakasham is too common, them. isn't it? Yeah. You know, well, my mom and dad fucked up my spelling when I was born. Yeah. Because when when Catholic kids are born, you have to have a baptism certificate and a. So why did they give a Hindu name to you? What's the story behind that? I've I've did, I've done an entire video about it, but uh, my name is after oh, the Marinas in Mahim. Okay. <laughs> Why do you not watch? Tell yourself. Why not watch my? I still say this. I'm hurt. But no. I told you, uh, live, <laughs> live sports shops. I'll watch all these videos. What am I supposed to do? I think uh, <laughs> my, my mission is to stop recovery. all live sports. We finally watch all the videos I've been sending you. Uh, but no, so it's after the Navinas in Mahim. So Mahim has nine days of prayer, which is N O V E N A S. You can't Ooh. name your child Novin. Stop Navin, the Punjabi name Navin. Like no, that. no, it's yeah, it's, it's derived from the French word, which is for nine days, and that's why Navin. So then we, hey, Silvery, we got it all wrong. His name is Navin. Yeah. You want to Naveen. see it correctly? We're seeing yeah, it wrong. Naveen, Jin oh, Naveen. Naveen. But then my I, father spelled my name as N A V W E N in my baptism certificate, and mom did N A V I N in the birth certificate. Oh. Why did they so, have a difference in spelling? Because both of them did not decide the it spelling. Was the Nichi Silvery thing? My mom gave birth. I know parents take all this very seriously. How you spell the damn name, especially initially. Yeah. So then, like until my school year was done, they were like there were two different spellings running parallelly. Yeah. Until like I chose the one that I wanted to go with, which is N A V I N, because less alphabets to go through. <laughs> I like W E N. Can we change it? Uh, no, Nivi? but that's the thing. I, I mean, it's silent as W E N, and I feel like very Nivi. North Indian. Yeah, yeah. Nivi, I don't think you say the, the the last letter in French, so it's like Navi. We have to hold that E. Nivi. Yeah, yeah. Like, like sound like Nivi. the characters from Avatar. Yeah, but there are so many. Nivi. So you know, Jake Gyllen Hall's name is Yilan Ali. Right, <laughs> you know that that's how. Yeah, I that's that. <laughs> that's how you're supposed to pronounce Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal is in Bakken. <laughs> This is a German accent. I love it. Oh shit! I've never seen Nivi do an accent ever in my oh, life. Oh, I do a lot of accents. Amazing! It's one more competition wow. to the. <laughs> But that's how he's supposed. To say. Apparently, that's how his name is pronounced. Jake and Maggie Helen Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Hall. After hearing Naveen's stories, 
I always feel like he's from another planet. By the way, yeah. Naveen is like some kind of celebrity in his... Uh, Navi. 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 <laughs> some kind of celebrity. All his, uh, you know, I, I hung out with him and his friends and all of them were speaking so highly of him. I was like, wait, how have I not seen this? Wait, they were all high no, and speaking of <laughs> This version of Naveen. Does he pay the bill? Because that always makes you a very important person. <laughs> I'm not sure what he did. What did you do, Naveen? Why are you so popular? Uh, in nice Navi. Bhayandar. Yeah. It was my Bayanza friends met in the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King of Bayanza. The ones you left behind <laughs> like, and you moved to Bandra. But this one yeah, thing... You're talking about, about all the hearts he broke, you know, as a, <laughs> as a teen. Like yeah, yeah, because who... there were girls in my group who were in love with me until I came what out. They were saying? like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Sad. yeah Naveen That's was friend, a heartbreaker. He heartbreaker. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. But, oh, but the first time Nivirta and I went out for, for lunch... I was like, let me show you in my area and all that. And we took her to, we went to Janta lunch home, I think. Yeah. For that uh, fish and all of that. I remember. And uh, there was a white lady over there who was looking at a table constantly. What do you say? White lady and all this. All reverse racism. Huh? Go on. What? Okay. There was a lady who no, said that she was Caucasian. Is <laughs> to be more precise. She had a blonde Caucasian hair. Caucasian woman. Yeah, she had, she had blonde hair, yeah. blue eyes. Her surname was Helen Hull. <laughs> and then she came to us and uh, and and she was like, "Hey, I know you." And I'm like, "Yeah, of course." She's talking to Nivedita <laughs> because she's on Netflix, and I'm not okay. But she's like, "No, you, you, I know you." And I'm like, "Oh, me?" What? And then, yeah, remember this? We were sitting at the lunch. Oh my god! Okay, d- go on. Yeah, because I was obviously like she knows okay, wow. her because she's more famous. But she knew me, and I felt nice about that. And I performed at some. And then how much did you have to? That's how much so did you have nice. to pay her then, Naveen? <laughs> I, I gave her a tip of five rupees. Ah, okay. Chalo. She went home. How would happy. you describe this lady again? She was uh, white. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't get past that. I miss the essence of the story because <laughs> my pretty mind. I get stopped at the racist remarks. It's <laughs> unnecessary. Yeah. No, but th- but that is the accepted term now. Like white, black. I'm just going to point out are, one second. Yeah, one second. Right now, right now, calm down, guys. Right now, Vinay. Oh, yeah, term would be Vinay told me to take a break. Okay. Guess yeah, he told he told me to take a break. Antarik, I'm just saying right now that he indicated to me yeah. to take a break okay. in the middle of the show. Okay. Can I tell the viewers or other listeners? Yeah, the rules have been already reversed. Convey the message. Yeah, Vinay, I'm back. <laughs> just Vinay, saying. Vinay gives us very clear signals. He takes his yeah. pants off for break. I don't know why he has to do that, but you know that's a clear signal. So Vinay, I'm sorry. Just look away for a second, and we'll go into the break, and then hopefully this thing will be cleared. But before that, coming back <laughs> after a quick Jupiter money break. Hey everybody! It's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On Cyrus says, Aditya Raj Kapoor, a long-distance biker, tells Cyrus all about his exciting solo travel around the world. On the Filter Coffee podcast, Ujala Chaudhary talks to Karthik about growing up as an adopted child. On the Habit Coach, Ashton talks about how we can put on our explorer's hats and seek adventure. On All Things Policy, the Takshashila folk analyze the implications of simultaneous elections in India. And on Say No to Drama, Chetna helps us identify green flags in relationships. Do follow us on social media where IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you enjoyed this show or any of our other shows for that matter, do please tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on. You can check us out on YouTube as well. On ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube, we have a list of all of our YouTube channels. Do check out if your favorite show is available as full video. We are also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you respond to our shows and advertising on the network. We'd really, 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 really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors for this week, SBI Life Insurance, India Water Portal, and Jupiter, a digital banking app. Thank you so much for making this possible. So in PC terms, you can say black, you can say white, but you can't say yellow man, for example. Now, that's considered terrible. Yeah, you can't say red is, man yeah. for the Native American. That's considered terrible. And I'm not sure yeah. where we stand with brown man. I suppose brown again, if fine. we say it, brown is, is brown okay? Brown is, brown for is a non-brown yeah. person to say brown? No, no. Brown is for Indians, for Mexicans also. Yeah. Brown is fine. Beige yeah. is wrong. <laughs> Beige is wrong. Beige brownie. Is wrong. <laughs> I, I thought the brownie. Okay. Brownie you can't is, say ochre okay. yellow. Yeah. Halka sa brown. I think... Uh, describing people by color is fine as long as it's not derogatory. It's just that some of so us yeah. says, inherently don't like some colors. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
Okay, well, I'll, I'll do another thing. In England, you can't say Paki. Okay, Paki is an abuse for Pakistani people. Yeah, but we yeah. would not be... If we said Paki, like the way we talk, we would probably say it because it's short for Pakistani. We would not be inferring that we don't like them. But there, yeah, it's a nobody, bad word. No Indian has ever yeah, said it. Yeah. Oh, so, we over there... Our, yeah. We're we really only referring to them as Paki. Yeah. We say Fawad Khan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we say, we say, say things like Paki. Yeah. <laughs> Brown yeah. Monday. Right. But, but you know what? Song. It's all about context. For example, when you're in America, this thing called cultural appropriation, right? If somebody, mm. if a white, if um, a Caucasian <laughs> wears, yeah. wears dreadlocks, so you know, they yeah. wear sari, you know, stuff, like sari or they yeah. accuse the them of factor, cultural yeah. appropriation yeah. in America. But yeah. in a, in if um, Caucasians <laughs> come to India or even Africa, the locals will ask them to wear uh, their they be happy. Like, yeah. They'll think happy. They'll be happy respect. to. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. only yeah. in context. So a Caucasian can come to India and wear a Gagra Choli all she wants. But you know, you know a Caucasian but... sounds like a dog breed. He's a famous it Caucasian does. hound, one it of the does. largest animals yeah. on, on the yes. planet. I we should, we should to... just revert to the famous we one. We should just say yeah. white. <laughs> Cracker. Yeah. <laughs> so then Gora, is Gora back or is that wrong? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> even even Cracker was coined by white people, I think, to call other trashy white people. Yeah, yeah. It's always them. Or rednecks. Rednecks is also a white man's uh, version of other poorer white men who work in the sun and, uh, yeah, and therefore marry their cousins. Yeah, yeah, the farmers, That's a redneck, I'm yeah. guessing. Hillbilly doesn't sound that bad as redneck. Redneck is always a negative connotation. Hillbilly is just these stupid, in, simple... Like no, but they're all the same. They all just like made now. fun of for marrying their cousins. Redneck is also used by other ethnicities now across the world to to talk about certain types. Of, I would say we would might use a word like deyati or something like that, which is in the same context, which is also wrong. The yeah. point is that all these words are right or wrong depending on what you're trying to say with them. So I don't know how this is very tough, man. How are you going to keep uh, up with the times? In, in in this area, you can say this, and in that area, exactly what she said. I mean, it's ridiculous. As a comedian, I mean, you're finished. You'll have to have an almanac with you. Uh, sorry, guys, we're in lower parallel. So let me see. Can I say Basanti? I can say Basanti. And then you tell your joke. I mean, I no, I, it's actually true. Like in certain areas of Bombay, you have to watch your mouth. Yeah. yeah. Like in, in Shivaji Park, we have to be very careful what we say about certain political you know, alignments. Mm. Uh, in, in Malad, you have to say certain things you can't say. Like Bandra is mostly right now the coolest hip place where you can get away with most things. Still not so much, but uh, yeah, when you go to Haryana, for example, when I travel that side, Gurugao side, I have to watch my jokes about certain people, you know. So that's what like Dudeja. What got is stand up in Haryana like? Like, like you all make fun of women and stuff. I mean, what would be the normal routine? Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> 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 because women are the most tolerant group of people. <laughs> it's because you know what this is. This thing about jokes on women, even women like them because we're. Uh, you know, the thing about comedy is the more familiar it is, the funnier it is. And because men have been making jokes on women for so many generations, it's so familiar to everybody, not just men, even women, right? So if you get the sexist WhatsApp joke, even the aunties are laughing at them. They're the ones who are spreading them too because it's funny because of context because there's so much context laid out for you guys to make fun of us. As yeah. Navi's grandfather Mel Brooks, one of the granddaddies of comedy, pointed <laughs> out when yeah. the Jewish community of which he is from said you're making light of Hitler. You know, it's such a huge issue. You can't make light of it. It just causes so much pain to think about it and you're know, putting him on ice and these references. And he said, he said, but you know, that's how you bring down establishments by, you know, yeah. you making them sound making, like ridiculous yeah. silly sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're actually the on the side right? of the same thought yeah. process. Yeah, I love that. Spring time for Hitler and Hitler's game. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Have you yeah. seen To Be or yeah. Not To Be? Where yeah. when the monologue starts on stage, that's when the guy has an affair with the, the, the lead actor's wife. Yeah, it's damn yeah. funny. He goes, To Be or Not To Be, and then the guy takes off. If you have uh, not watched producers, it. please watch it. Not the new one, watch the older one, the Zero Mustel version. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wow, he knows his movies. Not yeah, bad. Yeah. I'm a, fat I'm a, boy I'm a from Broadway Diana. nut. Not bad. Yeah. Can I say fat boy or fat boy is also wrong? No, you can say fat boy, thick boy. Yeah, hello, thick the boy day is not far when you can't make fluffy. fat jokes. I'm, I'm... <laughs> she, no, I, I hate yeah. the fluffy connotation. Like Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel Iglesias. Gabriel Iglesias. Because of Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. I like that guy. He's quite you know what I nice. hate? That guy puts out a new video. I like his, he has an awesome Volkswagen van collection. Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, There's a great video out about about it. And it's great. He realized that we have a big population. He was like, this is... I put out more videos on India. And get that YouTube money. Indians love it when somebody else talks about us, by the way. They're like... Channels from every country that react to exclusively Correct. Indian things because they just yeah. have to say reacting to Indian song and they'll and get, they a, get a response, like a million. Yeah. There's one of them I follow. The there is a <laughs> exactly. So there is like this series called <laughs> CGI artists react to a good and bad CGI. Yeah. Okay. And they have entire digital, episodes yeah. dedicated. Yeah. Digital. To, to they, are, they have yeah. entire 
Yeah, entire episodes dedicated to Bollywood movies and there's a bodybuilding podcast. India has a huge really culture of I want to know what other people think of us, and I want it to be good. And yeah, it's really, not just in our families; it's also just the broader it, it, perspective that, in the business, country. It's a commercial thing now, so we have Derek More Place More Days, which is a bodybuilding podcast for people who follow, and uh, he started featuring Bollywood actors because Indian guys have started asking about what do you think their steroid cycle is, etc., etc. And the numbers go through the roof. Four oh, guys talking yeah. about the greatest bodybuilders of all time, and these numbers are hardly anywhere. And he suddenly so talks about uh, Ayushman uh, Khanna, uh, Kurana making Kurana, some comment Kurana. about proteins yeah. not being digested and whatever cycle he may or may not have taken. And just on that, the numbers go through the roof because of us. We are a people that bring prosperity to the world. People should appreciate us. Hence the term "koi mil gaya." It's us. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you know that India India is the second largest English speaking nation in the world? Yeah, that's because like only ten percent of us can speak in English, but ten percent is larger people, than yeah. every other country. But out of those ten percent, fifty percent shouldn't speak in English. This is irritating <laughs> yeah. on the ear. But how much would that make us? What like a a, a, a hundred million somewhere there? Must be eighty million somewhere there. Somebody do the math <laughs> in this yeah. place where nobody knows. Anyways, I didn't come back with the <laughs> statistics properly. Ten percent oh, would be. be Yeah, we're the we're the free floors. No, we we're the rap artists. We're the artists. Yeah. You're the <laughs> we're not the nerds. <laughs> work together, cohesive unit to give a holistic show. You guys are not doing your bit. That bugger sitting in his home. Why are you in the studio? Yeah. You had seven days off in Himachal smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yes, uh, but very nice. What a very I, nice background. Uh, Andhra yeah, has done a really good job. Hey, thanks. It's yeah, the same I, background. I, it's the same background. <laughs> no, no. We have the answer. One fifty million. I actually felt a little 150 sick. One fifty million. Uh, speaking coming back. So what happened to you? I so basically expect. <laughs> I felt a little sick. I came back with a little bit of cold and a little bit of fever. Is it so? And because I come back oh. from Delhi, right? And Delhi, there are a little bit of places. COVID. What a great are excuse! We doing that now? I don't work. know. All you gotta yeah, say is a little bit of COVID. cough, a little bit of fever. It's the best time for this excuse, man. Oh, it's gonna, it's so gonna. What a I'm gonna use it all of this year. <laughs> it's like the new version of Mambo yes. Number Five now. It's like it a little bit of malaria, a little bit of COVID, all day long. A little bit of this. Yeah, every variant. A little bit of diabetes all day long. World. All the corporate oh management is just crude. But you can't call your bluff, man. How can yeah. you call your yeah, bluff? Yeah, they really can't. In fact, yeah. we had a it's kid's so, picnic so or something, and some kid said she's not feeling well, and all the parents on the chat said, "Please don't send the kid." I'm thinking it's gone completely. Is it? <laughs> But that's wow. actually like it's crazy how I missed my Easter family dinner because I had too much iftar food. And then uh, I realized my body could not take the iftar food, so I could oh, not man. do Easter with my family. I missed all my iftar oh, wow. parties. No, no, yeah. one said. What do you have for iftar? Do you, you, like so you said you called up and said I'm I'm not feeling well. No, because I was not well. Like I woke up on Easter no, morning. That's just Amakam said. That's not exactly COVID, no. Yeah, it's not COVID, no, but like by the time I was like calling my mom, I was coughing also. I don't know how the cough came. It just came, and my mom was convinced that I'm like you know diseased. So she like don't come home. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the cough came <laughs> from. <laughs> I think when you called your mom, it just like automatically. Mom, <laughs> like, oh shit! Please, I please don't I, come for you. So. <laughs> my mother would come with medication. Many mothers would do that. It's horrible. I never tell my mom medication. Well. Self medication. My mother has homeopathy. I'm so glad everybody pills. in the world has changed the way they approach sickness these days. Yeah. Like remember back in the day, you 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 could be dying and you still had to like go to work. No, no. Yeah. They yeah. Also, you. like if you say if you say <laughs> like, hey, I'm not well, somebody comes home and takes care of you. But now they're like, you die alone, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was on Easter. Now we were on Easter. Easter, as we pronounce in that way, on Easter. Okay, yeah. that's it. Well done. The first and only joke for this entire crappy episode where we discuss nothing much. But one more yeah. topic. Silvery says, "Silvery, we need to spell." He's in front of you. He okay. spells it S E L V E R I E. We've lost this guy. That one fifty million English speaking. We're trying to like speaking. make him a part of the conversation. Now we do the maths. One gone from the one fifty million English speaking. One gone. So one one forty nine point nine 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 million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vinay is out. <laughs> Bolo, right. what topic so, uh, so this is uh, as we all have uh, discussed on the show, uh, like quite frequently in the in, in the recent past, uh, riots in India, especially communal riots in India, are on the rise. There was one that happened just this past Saturday uh, in an area called Jahangir Puri in Delhi. What happened was uh, there was a Hanuman Jayanti ka procession, Hindu ja- Hindu procession going on, and uh, during their uh, uh, during the procession, during the march of the procession, they stopped outside a mosque. uh where like some insults were heard across uh mosque uh, uh the the premises and uh, then then stones were being pelted uh the cops tried uh, tried to uh, stop it uh, they stopped it for some time but then it started again and became even bigger then cops had to use tear gas grenades and uh in in the whole ensuing riot that happened uh, a lot 
of uh, people got injured some seven uh, police officers got injured one civilian got injured nobody died but uh, this has become a very big issue and uh, this this comes amid the more, more recent hijab so rose that has been going on do you think that yeah. do you all notice that the one guy who was accused and taken to court yesterday or whatever he yeah, did yeah. the pushpa so, step yeah Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, whatever is happening. I mean, this is a very grave situation. You might go to jail for life, so, but you still want to exactly. promote your Insta following, you know, at yeah. the right time. I, no, not to say it's a good thing. I'm just saying. Oh. The police, Delhi police, have already made some arrests. They've already detained about 21 people. But uh, people are saying that even with the police investigation into this, seems to be communally charged and partial, uh, and be- basically trying to hide the actual perpetrators of the event because 16 of the 21 people uh, arrested so far. Are Muslims? Muslim, okay, yeah. so there's clearly mm. there's clearly a disbalance there, and uh, so you want, there, there you want it to be ten point five, ten point five. I don't know the, what the correct thing is. I, yeah, yeah. So obviously, we're not experts over here, and all of us yeah. are just yeah. <laughs> like no, giving but an that's opinion. The thing, like Cyrus but... was saying that you no, know, all these all these boys take pride in going live on Instagram. Like it's a for their for their whole like. Bhakt mentality. A lot of them are very proud of this. So even if there's yeah. visible proof, like you know where, no, you know, hero, but, but, but you know that all of this is because of leadership, right? Yeah, yeah. all leadership. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's always been if like someone... that throughout history. It's always been a person that instigates yeah. another person. And once you and please understand together, the age group of these morons who do all this and get into fights and all. It's male ego and male frustration, male testosterone. So very little to do with religion or anything else. At the end of the day, they just want to scrap. The two tribes want to scrap. That's it because the yeah, young yeah. men are bored. That's and what religion is the sensitive. of thing that you can use to get into people's uh, emotions making people issue than it is sometimes yeah there was a procession yeah there was a fight yeah it broke out but it's basically yeah. gundas and vandals misbehaving with each other and it all, it's always done in big groups like individual humans are fine and then when you put them together as a group have you seen this i've always said this when men are alone as individuals you can deal with them the minute yeah. they come together as a group they become so scary even true, men yeah. are scared in that, groups of men but, but that's that's the difference between masturbation and sex masturbation safe for society sex bad for society I have been singing a hymn every day for masturbation. Silvery, what sex. you're doing is beautiful. Honestly, thanks. Yes. Uh, no, Naveen, what you're doing is terrible. I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I should I should be doing so it more now. often then. Yeah, nice. <laughs> hey, what's the story? Five of five of you guys being straight and all went to Himachal uh, after two years of four of us. Up. Yeah, four all, of us went to Himachal. Males. It was yeah, uh, ab- yeah it was my story? fellow comedians. Abhay Kumar, Akash Sarogi, and Girish Rasam, and uh, we organized. Wow! Nobody knows his names, wow. but I I thought I'll put give I, them. I, a I, I wish I was there. Uh, Naveen, I wish I was part of it. I feel so bad now that he yeah, mentioned yeah. all those. So names. we yeah. we we had like, planned a trip across uh, Parvati Valley uh, in uh, some lo- some of the, like the villages there, like uh, in Tosh, in uh, Kalga, Pulga. Then we went up did all you, the way up to Grahan. Did you perform in and, the villages? Yeah, like, but they're like these are like very uh, well visited Famous villages. Touristy, with, yeah. yeah, exactly. So and the they're tourists like, listen. Everywhere's a homestay. Who, who are you talking to when you perform? So these are like so. Uh, the, there are like three kinds of people broadly that you will meet in uh, the areas that we went. Okay, black, these white, and Chinese. Who have just <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, just, so these are people who have either done their jobs. Like what happened? You can't say that. I just discussed it. Check the podcast. You can't say that. There were so cabs. Oh. Yeah. So three kinds of people are like either people who have just quit their jobs and went to Himachal immediately after quitting, okay, or they went to Himachal and quit their jobs there because they're like, oh man, life here is great. I hate my job. I'm quitting. And the third kind of person is who's there and has been there for a while and has is working the from local. there. No, locals no you local. will see at the shows less. At the shows they will come less. Because the oh, locals, locals, man, they are, are like working towards to helping people yeah. get touristy things here. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, touristy things. Uh, 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 so yeah, so these uh, are the we're broadly the three kinds of people we met at the shows. But there were so enough. We had like, like the least amount of people we had at a show was like twenty two, twenty three people, and that was like the the lowest uh, number. Like I could do that in my building with the kind of construction of workers course, that are hanging around. Of course, Cyrus, that's that's, that's you though. That's no, you. I'm saying I'm but just we, saying we, we have hundred people <laughs> building the building here outside. Just oh, go and okay. Do five yeah, minutes. that's also cool. So Raju ne kya kaha? Monty se ha, bas done. Yeah, but it was great. No, the worst decision though, a very dumb thing we did was we had we had a lot of trekking to do. Okay, so like Grahan is like a three hour trek. From uh, Kasol, it's like it's like a very long thing, dude. And you don't realize what three-hour trek means because you have to climb Uphill. the entire way. I mean, uh, you realize, but then you have lungs, Antarik. You and I, over time, we have exploded them so much that they're not yes, built for like nice air and yeah. like you no know, crisp and walking. We are not the it's activities you are yeah. doing there are not helping our lungs in the slightest. Anyway, that's right? one part of it. But the very fact that you're climbing, remember, climbing is just yeah. stupid. It's oh. so yeah. bad. 
so we had dude so someone had told me ke uh, whatever you're carrying carrying it, carrying it carrying it as a rucksack don't carry any suitcases because there's no terrain for to drag a suitcase around you'll go mad so i was yeah. like okay okay so i stopped everything in the rucksack dude that rucksack i have decided to always drive it light after this one pair of clothes that's it and then you buy every anything if you need from the like superman batman because just the one pair yeah utility belt just build. the one pair of underwear correct uh, but because dude we went bad it was every literally every 10 steps i would have to sit down and like half the half the i would like get get my breath back and it was like it was crazy i did like and a 3 hour trek like 4 hours one time you're, you're was, uh, 29 years old man. in the pink of health the peak of your uh, hormonal balance test i'm not thing. in the peak of no, health this is the I best you'll ever be so if you're failing no, now i hope I, not i, I hope not predict your future 35 i'm going to die i will be carried yes. in a palki on the mountains and that yeah. was hilvari yeah <laughs> <laughs> did you get anyone yeah, recognizing yeah, you from outside no, not, pune not, not two really. people yeah. himachal that would have been awesome if someone did we have to buck yeah. up our game in himachal guys himachal is lagging <laughs> behind yeah. okay yeah i plan to go back day. i want people to recognize me maybe next time we should react himachal. to something we should do a yeah. podcast from there in fact while you're doing the trek you should have been on the podcast that would have been you know, yeah. change the raise oh, the bar completely but Cyrus, you oh. will actually love the place because there are awesome beautiful dogs, dogs everywhere yeah So okay, he, the mountain dogs. Super he friendly. I mean, he knows me. Super Let's talk about the people. Yeah. Mountain dogs no are bushy. People. <laughs> they, they're Dude, lovely. They, are, so they will cute. follow you also. Okay, they will like yeah. if you pet them once. If you pet one dog once, he will follow you for like the next three hours. Okay, and they are intuitive. Around. Like and the Himachal are, dogs know yeah. the routes. They they take you to the right place. They, they, exactly. Like from Rasol to yes. Rasol, if you want to go, they'll come with you. They'll accompany exactly. you. Exactly. They're just happier. Yeah, for they're treats. happier dogs. Yeah. Remember, sir, this last Monday, uh, you had called me, and uh, there was a dog in my room, right? I was sitting with the dog. Yeah, I saw right? the dog, the white dog. Yeah, white yeah. dog, adorable little dog. Okay, and so he he uh, was that was called Kalga where we were. That was in Kalga. Okay, and so that evening he said we said bye to the dog. We he went away, whatever wherever he went. The next day he showed up two hours away at another place wow. that Pulga. Okay, so he uh-huh. somehow knew that we were going there because he just straight away came to us only, only to us he came. And he was there. It seemed like just to chill with us. I mean, Instead hey, of bringing that dog back, you brought those other three men back for some reason. I know. I so wanted to bring the dog, but 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 somebody yeah, mentioned. I think Arpit really asked a question me. about because I didn't lie. I used to carry only the underwear and, and go. Uh, my partner was Nikhil. We used to have to room together and all in the early days. <laughs> and he he would have two bags for yeah. one night because he had shoes in a separate bag. So we were very different in that sense. And the first time I, I met him outside the thing and we were checking in and he said, "Where's your bags?" I said, "It's one night. I'm carrying an underwear." Because they give us a shirt to wear there anyway for the event, wow. and he was like appalled. And then I had to be like his, you know, manservant carrying the bags and helping him, even though I had to be till then. It's ridiculous, but but it's a very smart right. thing to do. Just carry the underwear if you can. I, I suggest it to everyone. In fact, why even carry the underwear if you're living alone? How does it matter? It's not like people are going to invest your genitals, so it's okay. It's fine. It's for your own sanitation in general, right? Well, I'm, like I'm pretty clean. I'm pretty clean. Uh, That's what you, you say. That's what you think, sir. I'll let Silvery check because you. you know you're not straight, so I'm a little worried. But I, so I you let Silvery check. check you. And he'll pass on the information. Yeah. So you'll have another random man sniff your genitals, but not me because let's I'm gay. Let's put it this way: I don't mind if I'm if I'm girl checked. In fact, that's why I don't do massages. I mean, I'm damn scared of men touching me because I get I get very ticklish. You know, so what if I get around? Then you can tell them what parts not to. Yeah, that's what. So I yeah, said, and also you can just get a massage from a woman. Yeah. No, you yeah. can't. It's not that easy. Hello. Which is a terrible really? thing for male masseuses because they never get the job. Like it's, it's the men don't hire them, women don't hire them. Yeah, and all they want is to give a hand job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, here, here in town, a lot of these male masseuses go and do rounds and all of people. I mean, whatever that means. But they've got their whole client <laughs> base. And they do a lot of them on dating apps also. Like yeah. on Grinder, they have like. Well, they start there, and then and you know, you see what you get. I could yeah. never do it though. God, imagine just poking away at someone for hours, bored out of your mind with your fingers. Oh, uh, sorry. There's certain skill to it. Uh, yeah, you you don't be. Some know, people are I good can, at it also. Like, have you tried? Yeah. yeah. Some people like I naturally are good at ones. Let the lady speak yeah, because when you two speak, I just get bored after some time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> am I? Am I the one? That's a really terrible precedent to set. That I'm the one that's you know. Have you massaged someone? Show. Yes or no? Never. Why are you? I've uh, never. I've never massaged question. anybody. That's quite horrible. Not even like no, a family like, member when you were young. Is it massage like my pair, back? Like, okay, like, so here's the thing. I used to. So when I was a child, people like my grandparents used to make me walk on their backs. Is that a thing? I get yeah, that a lot of people do that. <laughs> they used yeah. to make you that. walk on yeah. their backs. So that's My the most that to me, yeah. amount of massaging yeah. I've done. Yeah, because you're, but you're, you're, what? Never... you walk on your niece's back? <laughs> no, 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 she's not. Yeah, and I die, dude. She walks on yours. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of nieces. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the villain is pieces of my nieces. It's having a bad day when he's stamping all over the knees for no reason. Not fair. <laughs> that today's day is not fair. That is the Kadak sound is is the best thing ever. Oh, oh, okay. One of my biggest like you know ASMR fetishes is uh, yeah the, the, the whole the, thing. No, Sh- also Shravan but also that, the Shravan. one of yeah, the reasons yeah. I don't give anybody a massage is because I'm afraid I'll do something wrong and like no no hurt yeah. them. You, you don't want to give them the wrong massage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, this is what But you were looking thing, for, weren't you? You're welcome, Cyrus. If your if your boyfriend asks you, will you massage my shoulders? And all, what would you do? Like, not 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 sexual massage. I mean, just like actual massage. He's in pain. <laughs> so, the, what what would you do? I mean, it depends. It if if it's if I'm re- if you know I'm free and I have the time to give him a massage, give him a massage. Maybe just like. But I'm not saying it would be good. Yeah. It might be a really bad massage. Like I'm, I'm. Uh, Pranchu, I'm so who I missed, I went back to Jaipur. Sorry, I missed you, Pranchu. Pranchu yeah, came Pranchu here for two days, that. and he knows this. Yeah. He's <laughs> there are a big street yeah, cricket loving mad guy. Yeah. There are male matches on marine life. <laughs> there to be full body yeah, massage. Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye muscles. Goodbye muscles. Wow. Yeah. Goodbye oh, muscles. Boy, Hello man. cramps. Naveen, is this true? Yeah. I don't even know if that's true. I don't know. I've never gotten a massage on marine life. I only got to find on marine life. Pranchu just came here in Himachal. Uh, uh, while mm-hmm. you're while you're trekking, right? There'll be especially in Kasol if you're going to from Kasol to Chalal or Katagla. There are people walking around with massage oils in their hand and. Just creepy looking men all over, and who just like ask you, "Hey, massage, full body massage, full body massage, full body massage," and they keep walking around up and down. I would down have said this, yes. This you know, a bigger part uh, of like you know traveling outside of your home state is to always say yes to experiences and then see where it takes you. I mean, uh, nah, that not for this. Great for you. Yeah, not for this. <laughs> which, which, part of, which part of creepy <laughs> little man did you like? Yeah. That is the final destination. Which, anyways, which part of the advert was was, was fascinating when he says creepy yeah. little man following you with a bottle? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds like four colored oils. The way he said, the way he said massage, massage, massage is what I was tempted. Everybody by. massage, everybody <laughs> massage. This is yeah, not the like, massage uh, you know, next to massage. Okay. Will Smith the last guy to give a proper massage and that was in the Oscars. Face massage. Good. His face yeah, massage skills are yeah. very bad. <laughs> my my by salon gives guy gives gives me a face massage also. They have these machines which they like rub against your face and there are two motors that go around doing all of that. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, it's used to sell those uh, like uh, yeah. a it's, lot. It's never good idea to buy like, that because yeah. you can't do it for yourself. You can't have a relaxation also and doing it at the same time, you know. Yeah. So Jia has one my friend Jia and then she she sometimes asks me to do it for her. Jia the comic. Yeah. 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 And I feel really weird doing it for her. <laughs> no, Jia, the comic or the ex-president of Pakistan? No, that is not the Jia. Okay. Yeah, the uh, ex-president of Pakistan. The... Sorry, that's the one. Yes, correct. <laughs> yeah, go and massage that's the one him. Who died about. in a <laughs> helicopter crash? Yes. Blast. <laughs> All right. So, are we All right, let's go to the AMS. AMS. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> so, in the chat, is written AMS, AMS, AMS. Vinay is losing his AMA, mind. AMA, 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 AMA. Lack of discipline. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. That's yes, right. yes, uh, yes in Tamil. Yeah. Is it? Jadeep Sagar. Is it? Oh, Amma, Amma is, is I thought. Oh. Amma, Elder, it's not Amma. Amma is mother. Amma, oh. Amma. Yeah. Ingeva, yes. Ingeva has come. I, Ingeva yes. has come. Yes, right. Yeah, Ingeva. but okay. disrespect. Ramba is good. You want to say Ramba to someone very... older than you, you say Ingeva Anga. Ingeva Anga. Yeah. Okay. When I was Ingeva Anga, right. I was a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Ingeva Angas, here are the AMA questions. Yeah, can tell me I have a confession. Uh, I want to be born Tamil. I've decided that's my people. If I had to be okay. reborn, I want to be born Tamil, and I want to live in Tamil. Because we're so laid back. Like, no, because your because your party is highly efficient, <laughs> and what you say is what you do. They don't bullshit you too know, much. I'm is, very happy. I mean, I don't say this stereotype. Of... <laughs> I'm 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 going to let you down, <laughs> and you're going to be like, what? This sounds like a scam, Tamilian. <laughs> Why no. isn't she? You mean if the stereotype is not true? Damn you! I don't know. I've already committed. I got the name girl. The name girl gave me a nice Tamilian name. Oh, I can't get out of it now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Amma, Amma's, Amma's. Amma, Amma. Come on, let's go. Safar, raste, manzil, or mukam. Aksar ye hamse kuch kehna chahte hain, par ham hain ki apni rozmarra ki zindagi mein inhe sunne se katrate hain. नमस्ते दोस्तों मेरा नाम है केशव चतुर्वेदी और मैं आपको ले चलूंगा कुछ ऐसे सफर पर जहां आपको एक नया नजरिया मिलेगा सफर और मंजिलों को देखने का आइए इन किस्से कहानियों में डूब जाएं हर मंगलवार और शुक्रवार Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Bored Brocha. I'm so bored I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay just 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 follow me. 
Jadeep Sagar has asked, found out a few days back that Cyrus, Veer Das, and Gaurav Kapoor were the original choices for Daddy Belly. Is that true, Cyrus? I think Cyrus already talked about it. Well, we we, we uh, auditioned. Gaurav was there when I auditioned. We were chatting, I remember. It was a pretty tough audition because I took two hours to find the place and I had no mobile phone. And you know, these, it's a, these cold auditions, Naveen, Silvery, uh, Naveen, do you do them as well? Some of them are damn tough. You have no time to prepare. You suddenly yeah. you don't get the context properly and all that. And maybe you'll be too loud. Maybe you'll be too soft, you know. You know, when next to what that character is sometimes, it's also a bit of bad luck. But I don't know. But also then I, I guess the other guys were better looking. Long story short. Was, was there Swedish a problem with then. Hindi, Swedish. Cyrus? Like, have English. you ever had an issue? Or was it... Oh, I have lots of problems English. with Hindi. Yeah, it's English, a, so right? it's, No, Delhi Belly was in English. The, at least the script was in English. I can't remember... Maybe a little Hindi. No, the movie was in... There is Hindi dialogue. Yeah, and there, there was Hindi a... Dialogue. So the release movie uh, had a Hindi version fully dubbed and a English version that was the main movie. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. I don't think I'm... No, but, but I quite remember... I don't remember being a Hindi because Hindi uh, scripts, you have to learn them a little bit. I have to learn yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the yeah. main characters like Vidas and yeah, like, you know, yeah. Imran Khan, all of these actors have to speak English only. It's the Vijay Raz and the Goon characters and the uh, the other you know, associated casts. <laughs> that so they sounds have done like a class commentary. Something in the movie also. Oh, yeah, yeah man, that's this, fantastic. The class yeah. dialogue is in the okay, movie we only. We started with trying to save the Caucasians and now we go back to India where we divide <laughs> over all kinds of things. Yeah, now language. Yeah, the language. funniest thing from Delhi Belly is that Tatti joke where like, instead oh, of diamonds he pours shit on the thing and he's like, yeah. what is Tatti? Like, that's the, the only the tatti, joke that's yeah. famous is a Hindi joke. Isn't yeah. that something? Anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, next one comes in from Samay Thoughts, who says, "What do you guys think about the increasing COVID cases across Delhi? Bad, yeah. <laughs> well, bad, bad COVID." I like the ostrich approach. Pretend it's not there. I've been saying that for a long time. Uh, whoever sick, I still sick, wear you know. masks everywhere I go. I'm paranoid. Why? Oh, I've stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've stopped the entire yeah. master trip. I... Not one mask did I wear. Yeah, you're in, and the, entire you're in trip... the mountains. Obviously, I no mean, one got COVID yeah. there. Now you're a geographicist. That's what they say. Yeah. So if you're <laughs> on the mountains, there's no COVID. What the hell sense does that make? No, no, no. no, no. COVID was everywhere. A uh, COVID is supposed to be everywhere at least, but as, nobody as violent, is bothered at all. Still, I'm a violent anti-masker, so I can't understand any of this. From 2020, oh. me and Naveen didn't wear the mask. He because really? he likes his face to be seen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I wear it when I go out in the public. But yeah, like, he does wear it outside. That's, I mean, not at home anyway. You're not supposed to wear it at home anyway. Yeah, no, not now. This anyway. whole mandate is over. I don't Sanit- the sanitizer was yeah, the other big rip-off. During the second wave, people were wearing it at home. Because... There second wave, a... they were wearing double masks. People yeah, in my area, so this double mask there. crap. You know, it's like men who wear two condoms. I know what you're thinking. I mean, I'll just keep wearing condoms, you know, until I feel happy. What does that mean? Seven masks and it'll cure the whole thing? Look big enough, yeah. Yeah, maybe, you know, I mean, really something, what's the, what's the logic? Mm-hmm. I'll just keep, you know, the whole logic is just more, more, more. That's it. There's no no thought yeah. process to it. But I do agree with the whole concept of if you're sick, wear a mask and, and you're going in public, you should wear a mask so that you don't like cough in people's faces. <laughs> I like that idea. I do, do a, I do a fake I cough, Nivedita, just to see the up. reactions. When you're like in the airport or in a restaurant, if you just go <laughs> like that, just to see reactions. Oh, God. It's, just, it's great fun. It's going to be there for a long time. And Horrible. yeah, and keep so, your COVID by, by the way, cases ready. are not all back. The cases are back. If the cases on in, in Delhi are on the rise, right? Their airport is the most mismanaged thing ever. The Delhi airport, super crowded all the time. Takes hours for anything to happen at the airport. And it does not look like if you're at the air, Delhi airport, it does not look like at all that there is COVID in the city. Um, on the other hand, they'll be busy killing each other, like what happened in Jangipuri, etc. So, you know, I mean, yeah, they are better than the other things to do yeah. and all. The COVID won't harm yeah. them so much. Uh, by the way, the it. cab driver uh, that I got from, so we had a bus from uh, Bhuntar to Delhi, and then from Delhi, or Kashmiri Gate, we were going to Delhi Airport. And the cab driver that we had. So we won't know what you're saying, so you can just make up words also. Yeah. But the cab driver yeah. that we had to take us from Delhi point A to point B, does point B was airport, uh, was. Uh, was in the Jahangirpuri riots. Uh, he was part of the riots. He, he he didn't say that he attacked people or got attacked or something. But what he was there was on the thing. He was on the Hindu yeah. side. And he was saying things against the Muslims while he was driving us to the airport. And it was... Uh, yeah, we just kept so silent the entire day. Like, yeah, yeah, I was just like, yeah. correct. <laughs> what then, then did, you turn it, did you turn around to your two friends and say, Abdul, Majid, what are you I would have done that, bro. You yeah, should have done that. Great. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, yeah. uh, if we were like, uh, but yes. Oh, what a country. Oh, yeah. I'm going to migrate. I've had enough. I, where should I go, guys? Yeah. I was thinking go to Fiji Lanka. Islands. Tuvalu. <laughs> well, I'll, rich, rich, I'll be the richest guy. Go to Egypt. I'll be the richest guy in Sri Lanka. There's oh, Egypt is terrible, though. I've heard. Everyone will come to yeah. you with their problems. Yeah. Why is Egypt terrible? Because uh, 
they don't they're not kind to tourists you can't take pictures they'll start harassing you uh, and Are the government has been overthrown so many times that they're paranoid <laughs> they par- everybody who takes a picture is somebody who can uh, spy, uh, can be a spy or you mean that's is, you mean you can't take a picture of monuments or you can't take picture of like crowds just as a tourist if you're taking too many pictures of videos apparently they they come at you they harass okay. you about it or yeah. they take away your mummy that being their thing um yeah. should we do one last one All right, this last one comes in from you Nikita. Don't have to. It's okay. Inge va, inge va. Okay, Nikita. Nikita asks, uh, Cyrus, what is the best place to eat parsley slash Irani food? Any recommendation? What is that? Restaurant wise, I suppose, or because houses, yeah, I would restaurant say. Restaurant wise, no, no, restaurant wise. What do you guys think? Home food is best. Uh, cuisine is best tasted in the person's house or in a re- professional restaurant. Uh, d- like depends. Home. So. So our, our restaurant food is very greasy, right? That's the problem. Our home food is not as greasy. Yes, what? Yeah. There so, uh, but the thing the is, case. the butter chicken is always—I don't know why. That's because we are raised. We are conditioned like that. We are conditioned yeah, to the butter chicken right. in the restaurant. We that's don't exactly really make it. Nobody really makes it at home. If we had that's had exactly that from the is. beginning, maybe we won't have. For example, dhansak. I much prefer home parsi dhansak, mm. famous dish. Then I then I do when I go to a restaurant because we yeah. always have that at home, so it's good. You know that 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 conditioning. Nice. But coming yeah, back to the question. Yeah, because like yeah. if I if I eat like Indian food at people's homes, like if their culture is known for that, so I'll go to a Punjabi friend's house, enjoy the Punjabi cuisine and mm. Kerala, whatever. But first, for cuisine like Korean or Japanese is what my favorite outside of India cuisine is. So I'll always go to restaurants which I know will do it well. You know, yeah, yeah. So that food outgoing experience is a whole. It's a whole like experience all together. Like we'll make a deal out of it. You know, we book our evening, we spend the money we want to. Mm, so like yeah. Blue in Bandra is a great place. It's a yeah, I like Dubai. Blue. Well, I mean, before yeah, the pandemic, yeah, yeah, it's it's a very cute, We've ordered, uh, small, uh, cozy, yeah, yeah. No, it's but you forget that. Restaurant. I agree, but but yeah. the food is really good. See, the ambience. Is, yeah, know, the food is also really good. So it makes it worth yeah. going outside. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the whole in a debate of like what's better outside food or in, inside food. Inside it food depends. is amazing if your mom or someone who knows how to make it. It's been handed down generation wise. Yeah. So you know okay. it's good. Yeah. Let, let me just yeah. answer that question fast. So I'll recommend Jimmy Boy. In Fort, I'll recommend uh, which is fabulous places. Parvez's Ideal Cafe. Please go to Ideal Cafe. It's also in the same area in South Bombay yeah, or in yeah. South Bombay anyway. Um, and Sasanian. Uh, of course, Sasanian is good. Wow, you know your uh, Britannia li- know limited your menus. Parsley. Britannia is the most famous. And then you've yeah. got you've got a few others like Mukambo and all also which are not so well known for Parsi food because they should give a mix, but they're also pretty good. You can try them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the and only one fast. I've gone to you didn't mention like soda which, bottle opener while I was the only one I've not, gone to. That's, that's the, the modernized Bombayized. Yeah, that's yeah. all. It's oh. the you know, mix. But but would you say it's good food though? Soda bottle opener, wala? Would you say it's good, good food? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good food, I suppose, but it's not Parsi food. You know, if the akuri oh, also yeah. seems good. For me, Irani cafe is like you go in, you have a bang for your buck, and you get out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah. you have a good time. You talk to the guy at the cashier counter. That vibe is the what what defines the Irani cafe for me. Wow. With the tiles and the mirrors and the yeah, the yeah, chairs. One of those. those chairs. Yeah, the won't chairs. Be there the anymore. ancient Boys chairs. Take pictures the, of the, the chairs. The banmaska. Yeah. yeah, the chai. The take pride yeah. and it's, it's a whole feel. Irritated, yeah. irritated proprietor sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so we used to we used to go to classes in Dadar. So after our classes were done on Sunday mornings, we'd go to Grand Road, and I'd also Grand Road station is Mirwan's. So yeah, it was like yeah. constant like people go in and you have like an omelette pav, chai maska yeah. and all that, and you fuck off. There's no time to entertain. No, but these are now yeah. these are now the very basic Irani places. Okay, we give you a very basic yeah. uh, amount of food. All all good. But I think they wanted to get the proper Parsi, uh, like uh, big dishes that you get Sit for down, dinner and stuff like dining, that. Huh, like that. Yeah. But also, two of my aunts need to get married. So if you want Parsi dishes, they're available. What is the guy's name? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought you were calling okay. your aunt dishes. Yeah, that's what I thought. One is eighty-seven, <laughs> so we don't have much hope for a oh, response. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we done? Hey, yes, seven fourteen, bro. <laughs> yes. This yeah, show done. Go on. Do you guys have lives? Are you guys are uh, performing the night? My show got here? cancelled. Yeah, What? my Why? show got cancelled. Who? Yeah. Where? Yeah, people aren't buying tickets to live comedy shows. Live comedy shows are great, guys. Please yeah, come. Yeah, dying. Well, please. Why was your show cancelled? Quickly, why is your show cancelled? Zero happened? tickets gone. Yeah, tickets Just haven't tickets. sold. Yeah, mine was in Alagio Bandra. You're on. You're on. Zero tickets. tickets. The show must go on. We have performed gospel with eleven people in the audience and twelve on stage. No, no. The the we perform for three people. We are happy to perform for each other also for yeah. comics only. Yeah, <laughs> if we've they buy tickets, yeah, we perform for that. three. But some so remember when you're super famous and super rich, these will be the most romantic days of your life when you perform to Correct. one dog and one cat. And that's what. Yeah. So do, I've been hearing please. that for five years now. <laughs> yeah, well, it takes time. Yeah, take, remember yeah. the great thing about entertainers: it takes one night to change your life. Yeah. You don't. You can suffer for twenty, twenty years. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. 
Anne so Bill Cosby. Cosby. And we live our entire lives. So by the time Bill Cosby ruined it, he was amongst the richest entertainers the world has ever seen. So hello. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Until that happened, and now he's back on the scene. <laughs> yeah, he's doing Mike. He's not like he's not like playing the oh, not playing the Bill big Cosby. Place. What? He's been a, he's, he's been, not in jail. Anymore? He's been let oh, go. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he he's, he's not convicted anymore. Correct. He's been acquitted. Wow. There's only seventy-four cases against him. I mean, like like man, everything you guys have yeah. said could also apply to Monawal. Just saying, he was in jail, like lock up. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus Says In, or you can email us, even if you're not female, on what Cyrus Says at Gmail dot com. Don't you think that if everyone around you is getting smart, you better be smarter? Hey there, I'm the traveling professor Sadat Deshmukh, and I'm back with season two of my podcast to make you smarter. Smarter with Sid. What's this season's focus about? Well, it's about ten-minute nuggets that will make you stand out at work. It's time to go from smart to smarter. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday and become smarter with Sid. Have you ever wondered where the business world is headed? How the ways in which we create, market, and sell to consumers will evolve, or if we'll ever go back to wearing pants while working? For answers to all of this and more, tune into Advertising is Dead with me, Varun Dugirala. Every Tuesday, as I talk to entrepreneurs, leaders, and change makers from across business, media, marketing, and beyond, you can catch all episodes of Advertising is Dead on the IBM Podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. Listen.